so today we're going to review the Glock 17 by Umarex. So this is what you get. We carry this in our online store, mlmairsoft.com. So you open the package up, this is how it comes. It comes with your, your Glock in here. You know the package, kind of oiled up. <clears throat> Anyway, so as far as detail and stuff on this, on this uh, airsoft pistol, like I have a real Glock 17 and a real Glock 19, and these are like spitting image. The only thing that's really different is the weight on them. So it comes with that, and then you have your mag. Now I see a lot of people when they purchase these. They try to load the BBs into the top of the speed loader. You don't have to do that. If you look right here, this is a really wide port. You just pull this down, you drop your BBs in this slit right here, and they'll stagger. Okay, you just release that. Anyways, that goes right in there. Box back. Comes with a couple manuals. Comes on instruction manual, things like that. Tells you how to adjust the hop up and stuff like that on it. So, anyways, <clears throat> let's talk about what I like about this pistol. So, what I like about it is, is that if you have a Glock 17 or 22 holster, or I believe a 19 holster, this will fit in it. Um, I have a Glock 17 holster on my drop leg platform. And it fits right in there perfectly. Um, it's made by Blackhawk. Um, so it fits in there really good. Um, now, as far as functioning and stuff, I've never had a problem with this airsoft gun. Um, it works really good. Um, it's always, I, I've actually never had a problem. It's always functioned the way it should function. It's always been reliable. Now, the, let's talk about cons. Um, the cons on it are, if you get the non-CO2 version, which that's what this is, this is green gas. Um, when it's cooler out, you're gonna lose a lot of range. You might shoot maybe 20-ish feet when the temperatures are 60 and below. And then when the temperatures are 70 and above, then this thing will shoot probably about 100 feet, 150 feet easy, um, really accurately with 30 gram BBs. Um, so <clears throat> with that being said, that's one of the cons to it. Another con to it is the finish. The finish on this um, is not, it's just a cheap anod anodization on here. It's nothing, nothing hardcore, it rubs off, especially like in the plastic holsters like my Blackhawk holster and stuff like that. Um, another con is, is like right here on the site, it just pushes off. There's no screw holding it. So, I haven't lost mine yet, but there's been several times where I've been running around and this thing almost came off. Okay, um, that's another con to it. Other than that, other than those just simple little things like that, um, this thing is... A really good really good pistol especially if you're a Glock fan the takedown is exactly the same way the takedowns exactly the same way comes apart the same way pretty much everything comes apart the same barrel comes out the same pretty much the same disassembly as your your normal Glock or some automatic pistol that has this design um, so, go ahead and reassemble it here real quick. Sorry, it's hard to do this and try to keep my entire self out of the camera at the same time. Just like that. Okay. Um, so, we'll talk about durability. I've had mine for about almost a year now. I've used it in the hot, I've used it in the cold, I've dropped it in the in the sand, in the dirt, it's been wet, 
um, you name it, it's been through, it has always worked. I've never had a problem with it. Just pick it up, wipe it down, just like the real Glock, and just keep firing away with it. Um, this previous past weekend for Memorial Day, we held an op um, at our at our beta um, location for Operation Broken Arrow, and I was riding around in a UTV with another guy, and I didn't even realize it, but my pistol came out of my drop leg platform and luckily I run a pistol lanyard on it which hooked on right there and I heard something and I looked over and we were doing about 30 miles an hour down a, a rough rocky road and my pistol was being drugged. Um, it got ran over by the back tire, spit out and then was dragging out on the rocks and stuff like that so um, it wore a lot of the finish off because of that but believe it or not I was really surprised I picked it up wiped it off put some uh map gas in it or not map gas uh well map gas propane put that in there and to my surprise it fired and worked just like it did before with no issues at all so as far as durability i mean this thing is extremely durable um out of all the other pistols that i've seen um a lot of different pistols that i've messed with the the outer barrels came off or just things like you know the safety falls off or the mag release falls off or things like that so as far as durability and functionality this thing is like up there almost i would compare it to the real glock um as far as like little things like the sight the finish and just simple things like that um which you could carry coat this finish yourself you can order a can of carry coat sand this down Spray it, put it in your oven at 300 degrees and bake it for two hours and you'll have a real finish on there that won't wear off. Um, other than that, that's the review of this pistol. It's a really good pistol. Um, so I do have another Glock here. <clears throat> I'll just go ahead and it's the, uh, it's the tan version of this, which would be the uh, Glock 19. And <clears throat> I'll just go ahead and do that one real quick. I already have it out of the box. So this is what this looks like. Now this actually has a lot better finish on it than that one right there. Um, this almost looks like it's painted or has like a carry coat finish on it. The price on it's a little bit more than that one. And this one as far as realistically, it's more realistic. Um, you got your guide rod there, then you have your, your spring and then you have your outer housing there. This is green gas too, same thing. Pull this down, load it, BB's in here. Um, this pistol here, the rear sight is fixed on it. It's screwed on from underneath. It's not gonna come off like that one there. Um, this is really nice, really nice pistol. Really, I like the stempling on it and everything like that. But I will tell you one thing that I've noticed between this pistol and this pistol here is the accuracy and the range. This one has a lot more range and is a lot more accurate with 30 gram BBs than this one. Um, this one right here is accurate up to about 25, 30 feet ish and that's it. And after that, the BBs just go flying wherever. So if you're looking for something, you know, if you want something that's really nice, um, you know, and you're looking for that whole realistic look and that's what you're going for with your kit, I'd run this as long you know if you're gonna be doing CQB or indoor or anything like that this would be a good choice for that um, now if you're gonna be running outside in the weather and wind and elements and things like that a little bit cheaper I would run this one um, and this one's extremely durable I'm pretty sure this one is durable as this one um, so anyways that's a review of the Glock 17 and 19 there they are, both brand new. We stock them at mlmairsoft.com. So, all right, man. Peace out.